Phu Quo, Vietnam. So this is part of Vietnam. I'll put it up on the map and you can see where it's at in Vietnam, way down in the south. And then on this island, I'm way up in the north. So um, you can see that on the map as well. And this is actually kind of a really cool European village, one of two. There's one in the top of Phu Quo and one at the bottom. So I've, I've had um, said eight other videos now of Phu Quo. This is the eighth one. And so you can look down below and see other ones, including these European village ones. And then next one, I'll be in the marketplace in the main center part of the island. You'll see that in about five, six days probably. And then after that, I, I moved the videos into Saigon and I got a ton of Saigon and then later way in the future, I have Natrong, so I'm gonna do them sequential and about one every five days. So stay tuned for that. So I definitely got more of Vietnam. This is Foucault. I got a video first with music, which is about 75 seconds. And then we're gonna get right into the walk and talk of Foucault in this kind of European village. So check it all out. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff and watch Foucault Vietnam. Grand World and it says Walking Street and also says uh, Duong Venice One Street along the Lake of Love. So we're gonna check that all out. Give you a taste of what it looks like in the evening. I did do another video about Grand World walking through it but this is gonna be at this particular time when the lights are on, on everywhere. Lots of lines for pagodas. A lot more people are about out and about. So stay tuned. Walking Street. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna do is just kind of capture the whole scenery around here. That's the whole line for the water taxi. And we got um, restaurants, homestays, all kinds of kind of cool stuff. So we'll highlight some of them. Here's the uh, Hadan coffee. And we're gonna get a lot of gondolas and a lot of beautiful color. So right now is the best time to, to capture it. I don't know what it'll, it'll look like at nighttime, but but now the lights are all coming on, so it's actually a pretty good time to catch up. That's okay, thank you. So now's a good time to uh, capture it. Here. So when you hear that that um, that sound, is is like an ice cream shop. Okay. It's hard to say what this is gonna look like at nighttime. Like I kind of wonder if it's just the signs that are lit up. 
Or would these lights come on as well? I don't know. If we stay long enough, we'll, we'll find out. You actually know that the very beginning it had a more livelier feel. But I guess at nighttime, at later at night, they're gonna have um, a light show. So. so I just don't know what to expect. But I would have to wait about three hours, I think. I think it said nine o'clock. It's about 6 p.m. now. Oh, they got beef, they got pho, they got beef noodle soup. I'm not gonna get it now, I just ate, but... These bridges. And over there's a teddy bear museum. So we're gonna walk up here. So that's where we just came from. And now we're up at the top of the bridge. And I guess I'm gonna call this Fuquo Walking Street. And we have even more over here on this side. So this is gonna come down the steps. Um, right there's a teddy bear museum. I walked by it earlier when I did my my full-on video of this, but this one I'm just gonna do the walking street only. But I might just walk in there right now. The teddy bear museum. I don't think I'm gonna go in here too much, but we're just gonna see what that crowd is doing over there. Okay, they also got a Grand Road food court, which could be in here too. Looks like this is kind of um, office buildings. So I don't know if that's the museum or not, or if that's, it could be. The lights just came on too, which is great, because I think that's gonna be throughout. That looks like the gift shop of the of the museum right there as well. Gift shop? Okay. So I guess what we're gonna do is just walk on out. So that at least you got a small taste of it. Based on the gift shop, it doesn't look like there's anyways. Let's go back to the walking street. We got a Daiso Japanese shop right there. Looks like the walking street's kind of lighting up more. Okay. See how the lights are just coming on. There's a uh, loteria over there. It's like Japanese, Korean fast food. I think it's Korean, but it's like, I think it's actually, I don't know. But um, I don't think that's the real one. And we're just gonna meander through. And all the lights are coming on as well. Hello, how are you? Thank you. So we've got lots of massage shops everywhere. You got ice cream shops. So a lot of people ask you if you want massages or ice cream. There's some mini hotels. This guy's gonna come out and ask me if I want ice cream. Sugar cane juice bar. Yeah, now that the lights are coming on, it's just about perfect. Spas. Hello. Sizzling beefsteak, that looks pretty tasty. And you also got places to sit. Oh yeah. It's actually the best time to catch it, I think, with the lights. Okay, so we have another Another bridge. We're gonna go to this bridge. So they call this Fukuoka Walking Street. I can call it anything I want, I guess. Eh? And this is that other bridge. So we're gonna we're gonna go to that big bridge right there, and then we're going to um, go up there as well and film. Pretty cool. Gondola, kiosk, loteria. Water taxi, I don't know if that's 
I don't know, maybe there will be more entrances later. I guess all the lights are coming on, so looks like they do have uh, lights up on the buildings as well. Which will add to that to that vibe. And the kiosk, people are standing, they're gonna come over here in a minute. So pretty cool though, nice colors. Hello, how are you? And we're gonna go up on top of that bridge right there, that really cool looking one. Yeah, nice. So very cool. Okay, so, um, so we're gonna keep on going up to there. We also got lots of places to eat as well. And gondolas, of course. Lots of gondolas. Okay, so we're gonna just keep on walking down. Hello. 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 So this one looks like, um, this is kind of a nice little mix of stuff right here. Yeah, actually, actually that building looks really nice. Okay, so here we are up on this bridge. The lights are coming on nicely. And then this one opens up quite a bit. Oh, this is actually the lake. So I guess we'll go around the lake, check it out loud as well. There's a lot of these around. And now you can see these other side streets too. We were, we were just focusing where the river lake is at, but there's other streets on the sides too that kind of give it some more depth as well. So this is, uh, I think there's like different layers of the streets. So the, the, the river and the lake go in the middle. And then this is like a different street. We just kind of came over here real quick. Then we're gonna walk back to the lake part. Hello, how are you? <laughs> oh, thank you. Hello. Hello, yeah. my restaurant for around the hot wash. Yeah, this is low. Looks good. Wow. Oh. And bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so that restaurant's right on the corner, very friendly. Okay, so we're going to keep on going down. Yeah, this architecture looks a little bit different. I think the other one is like three three windows up. I guess some of these have that as well. Hence, I want to film the water, but actually this is the most interesting part, to be honest. Just capturing this feel. Venice shopping store, so there's definitely the Venice, I think this is Venice Street. So that's uh, part of it as well. And we have places to eat. Candolas. Pretty cool. And even some artwork. Okay. And lots of European statues and cherubs. It's another angel over there. Like St. Michael over there by the clock. I 
I just realized I got a show over there. Very cool. So I think they just had a show and the show just ended. There's all the uh, performers. Take a look down. And then I'm going to turn around and come back this way. Oh wow. This looks kind of cool. So that was Fuqua Walking Street. So we basically just followed the, the water part and there's also stuff on the other sides too. So um, that's kind of that clock that we were just at. And then you can also see too that if we go in a little bit, there's more on this side too, just like on the other side too. So you can kind of see that as well. And then basically if you see this boutique, um, there's, you can basically see through this. So it's just kind of a narrow group of buildings and it just goes all the way down. So that's basically the walking street of Foucault at uh, Grand World. So I guess we're going to conclude and walk by all these restaurants and all this other kind of stuff. and. Um, all right, something kind of cool and different and interesting. Okay, this is kind of the more nighttime view. So, not quite, but later than it was earlier. Okay, so this is the other view with the bridges and you can see all the lights are on. So that'll be our final view right there. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> 